guys, welcome to Rustic Joyful Food. Today we are making chocolate orange brownies. So these are a super easy recipe. They're absolutely delicious, very few ingredients, and we're gonna put some orange zest in these. And these are some gorgeous Kara Kara oranges. They've got that really pretty um, sort of pinky flesh. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I did it a little bit in a sort of like an unorthodox way. What we did was melt the chocolate in just a little bit of a skillet. I added some heavy cream. You crank the heat on pretty high, throw your cream in, and then you just turn it off and let it sit. So here we have our melted chocolate and then our eggs. This recipe is one of my favorites. It's in my cookbook. So we're gonna go ahead and put four eggs in. And the eggs give it sort of like this jammy consistency. And you'll have to tell me in the comments below, are you team fudgy brownie or are you team cakey brownie? Because I feel like I'm team fudge all the way. So we're gonna add just a little bit of sugar, about a cup and a half. And then I've got melted butter. The reason that we melt the butter is because we actually want the brownies, here we go, to have those crispy little edges and melted butter actually adds to that. So we're mixing our chocolate, our eggs, and our sugar. Next, we're gonna go in with a little bit of salt. It's very important. I feel like every single time you make a baked good, you have to balance it out with a little bit of salt. So we're gonna stir our salt in. And then we need just a little bit of flour. It's gonna be a shy cup. We're gonna very gently mix this all together. Okay, so you never wanna over mix your baked goods. Uh, these little guys, I'm, you can still see there's little bits of flour on top. I'm gonna leave them, set them aside over here, while I chop just a little bit of chocolate. We're just gonna chop them, nice big chunks. So now we're gonna add the chocolate. Okay, so when you're zesting an orange or any sort of citrus, it's very, very important. You only want the actual zest portion, none of the white, that's called pith with a TH. Um, it doesn't taste good, it's really bitter, and it can sort of change the whole structure of your recipe, and then it tastes kind of gross. You want a nice, big, firm orange. These little guys are the easy peelers. They're really pretty, but they're not great for zesting um, because that peel is separated a little bit from the flesh. Uh, so I would tend to use like a navel orange or a Kara Kara orange. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the inside of the Kara Kara orange. And if you're looking for these like at your local supermarket, it's just C-A-R-A, Kara Kara and it's this beautiful orangey, ruby, pink flesh. So what we're gonna do is I wanna add just a hit of juice, just a little bit of juice. Now I'm just gonna finish the mixing. It doesn't matter if there's some little tiny lumps. We're not adding any leavening. There's no baking powder, there's no baking soda. I want these to be fudgy with that really crackly, delicious edge. The next thing we're gonna do is move over and talk about our parchment paper. I'm gonna show you the lazy man's way to grease your pan with no grease. No butter, no oil. We're just gonna use the parchment paper. So I'm gonna take this little guy, I already cut him, and I'm just gonna shove it down. And you curl him around your pan. So what I wanna do now is take my brownies, spoon them into my parchment lined pan. Look at that, it looks so good. So here we've got our brownies. We're gonna slide them into a 350 degree preheated oven. All right, you guys, we're gonna check on these in 15 to 18 minutes and we're gonna have a perfectly gooey, delicious brownie. All right, so we have our brownies, they're out of the oven. I'm my sweet family, this is Mike, this is Milo, this is Mr. Noah. These are my right hands in the kitchen. So we're gonna slide it right out, look how easy that comes out. No fuss, you're gonna eat that, are you so excited? Okay, so we're gonna cut and look at that, nice and gooey. Still a little steamy. There's for you. And here's one pull on the side for daddy. Thank you. There you go. And that's it, you guys. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm sure gonna enjoy it with my little family. So make sure you subscribe and click on the link down below and visit rusticjoyfulfood.com and then we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.